I believe, I think it was last night, um, after the show went off the air, we got the, uh, we got a report here from, uh, Dave Meltzer, uh, talking about, uh, CM Punk, and, uh, he brought up, so, so during Punk's opening promo, he would, uh, before he would address John Moxley, he would randomly bring up Adam Page, uh, and would call him out, uh, with the implication that, you know, if Page wanted his rematch, he should come take it right now, and we did not get Hangman Page coming out, and Punk then called him a coward. It felt very, you know, off the cuff, uh, and, you know, it, uh, it definitely made Punk seem more heel than, than normal, but played off, obviously, the build to their match for Double or Nothing. But speaking on the Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer noted, if you're wondering about CM Punk uh, at the start of the show with Adam Page, that was weird uh, for everyone, as in nobody knew he was going to do that. If you remember months ago when they were feuding and they said there's a lot of reality to it, well, there's a lot of reality to it. I don't know what the deal was, and nobody else does either. Uh, Punk was supposed to go out there and talk about Moxley and build the match, and he did, but it was after he talked about Adam Page. So, uh, that was our first part about this. <clears throat> and, um, uh, Brian Alvarez would continue saying, uh, well, I should mention also, since a lot of people have read the wrong thing into that, whatever they're going to do next week with the title match, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, you know, it's probably going to be Punk and Hangman at All Out because of Punk's promo beginning at the show. Punk's promo had absolutely zero to do with whatever they're going to do at the pay-per-view, so don't read into that. Uh, maybe they're going to do this or that, but it was not supposed to happen. Uh, Punk went into business for himself and then moved on. Uh, and he says, which was bullshit actually, because he called the guy out and it was off script, so of course Hangman's not going to come out, and then Punk calls him a coward. Uh, like what? So, that's our first bit here. And then... Just a few minutes ago here, uh, we got the report from Sean Ross Sapp as he would bring out this, uh, he would tweet out saying, One source familiar with the situation said they believed there was a chance of CM Punk uh, not showing up at last night's episode of Dynamite. And the full report here from Fightful Select says, Sources familiar with the situation claim that CM Punk has often verbally expressed his displeasure including recently so blatantly that they thought he might up end up uh, quitting the company. Those close to him said that he might have almost decided to stay home instead of coming to the August 17th episode of Dynamite, but don't think he would have quit. We haven't been given any indication that he plans on leaving AEW, but one veteran said that they have heard of threats being levied. So, oh yeah. Um interesting stuff there uh it's a, a lot going on uh, we also have from uh voices of wrestling um as they would mention um we they, they could not confirm dave's report that punk went into business for himself because he hasn't uh, they haven't been outright told that however they believe it's entirely possible Confirmed that there is heat between uh, Punk and Hangman that dates back to uh, Hangman Page's promo about workers' rights during their, their build-up to their Double or Nothing match. Uh, there was apparently a blow-up following Hangman's promo that led to, led to a closed-door meeting with Tony Khan. Punk was caught off guard by some of the points Hangman was making, and he felt he went into business for himself. Uh, Punk had apparently told people he would never job for Hangman Page... Um, but they noted that they're not sure if he said it to Hangman's face, but wouldn't be surprised if he did. Uh, they went on to talk about how there are more feuds in AEW that are based off reality than we may think, and that there is legitimate tension between a lot of the AEW originals and ex-WWE stars that have come in. Um, they don't know if Punk still feels that he wouldn't job to Page since this was said months ago, but he, uh, he believes Punk did a great job building to the match with Page regardless of if either guy went into business for himself. Um, note that Hangman was technically the one who started this with a notoriously fiery punk, uh, that Colt Cabana being banished to the ROH, uh, being banished to ROH has pissed off most of the locker room. Uh, the Voices of Wrestling does not believe it's a work because they would be working every single person in the locker room. 
And if that's a work, they are working everybody, including the rocker room, locker room. Um, but you can never discount a work. Uh, and that's not me playing both sides or anything like that. You just can't in pro wrestling, especially when they're doing this elaborate MJF storyline where everybody is being worked. So, again, uh, lots. <laughs> lots to unpack. Lots going on. I... I, like... It's, it's really strange. I don't have... Like, I can't really make an opinion on this just because we, we really don't know the behind-the-scenes stuff here. Um, it's just... <laughs> it's so strange, because, like, if you... if So, let's say we're going with CM Punk is, is really pissed off and, and is trying to ruin Hangman here and make him look bad because he, he brought up workers' rights and... and uh, hinted towards issues with Colt Cabana and CM Punk during their program. CM Punk isn't one who's like not afraid of going for for low shots or low blows in promos. Um, so it does feel a bit weird that you would you know get to the point where you're possibly going to walk out of another wrestling company over somebody bringing up issues like that. Um, I'm sure this is going to lead to some polarizing discussions online between people clowning AEW for bringing in CM Punk, for people clowning CM Punk for being um, petty, for uh, people clowning Hangman Page for starting this. Um, but regardless, we did find out at the end of the show that in, the implication was that we were going to most likely be getting John Moxley versus CM Punk at All Out. The opening of the show made it seem that way. They kept talking about the pay-per-view. But right before the main event went on, we got the announcement that instead, next week on AEW Dynamite, we are going to be getting CM Punk versus John Moxley in the unification match for the AEW World Championship. With that being said, with how this show was structured, with, with Punk opening the show... With him very clearly playing the heel between the role of, of him and Moxley. Um, we had, and we'll get to it when we talk about it. But you had CM Punk, you know, bringing up stuff about... Uh, he, was, he brought up co uh, his history with Eddie Kingston. He, he was making... Uh, he, he was saying that Moxley's not as good as John Cena. He's the worst member of the Shield. He's the worst member of the Blackpool Combat Club. Um, it was, it was saying that uh, Eddie Kingston's only the, the second best Kingston he's worked with, uh, referencing Kofi Kingston. Um, he was belittling John Moxley. He was taunting him with the snow angels in the ring. He was calling out Hangman Page here and calling him a coward. It felt very, very much so like we were indicating that we were getting a CM Punk heel turn, uh, if not right before our very eyes. So... Next week, our main event of Dynamite, we have it already. This is one of the biggest matches you could do um, on on Dynamite, uh, since, again, this was most likely what many people assumed was going to be your main event of the pay-per-view in Chicago. You have all of this added drama now with these reports coming out for uh, CM Punk looking unfavorable. Uh, Hangman Page is now thrown into the mix here. He had nothing seemingly scheduled for All Out, which felt very strange. And now his name is brought up into the AEW world title scene once again. We have the looming shadow of MJF with a lot of people having assumed that he would return at All Out uh, to most likely challenge or attack CM Punk. Um, so regardless of, of what's going on, and if this is bad, it's bad. Like, if CM Punk is actually on the verge of walking out of AEW, that's not good. Um, and the fact that we could see that next week, theoretically, we could just have... If things have gotten to the point where he's done, we could have Punk just agreeing to do one match, Moxley beats him, and then Punk walks out, and he's done. And that's weird. Uh, it's, it's wild, it's weird, and I don't think many... I don't think many people want that. I think what a lot of people do want is if you're going to turn this into reality and you're gonna like if you bring reality into the show you would turn punk heel and based off the reaction that we saw from 
MJF's last appearance at the the uh, LA show and when CM Punk came out while it wasn't on air and 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 tried to talk to him you know the implication would be that you could probably do a wild wild move where you have heel CM Punk versus babyface MJF as your top program on AEW moving forward um but there's a lot of moving parts here. We still don't know what the deal is with MJF. And there's no confirmation on if he's with the company. I mean, he's with the company. There's no confirmation on if he's coming back or when he's coming back. We have no idea what's really going on with CM Punk here. Um, Moxley is on another run of his career just delivering some of the, the best matches he's had. Um, while, you know, carrying this interim world title with crazy amounts of pride. I, um... Like, it's just so, it's so interesting, because, like, I, I don't know. It, it's it's going to be interesting to see, but regardless, with all of this added on to it, with, with the, the already heated program with Moxley and Punk, with the looming shadow of MJF, with Hangman now added into this, with the drama, all, all of this makes Dynamite next week, like, the must-watch show for wrestling. So if this is a plan, and this is, like, them you know leaking stuff to dirt sheets and 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 just trying to build this up to try and get hype if it works it works so we'll see but it's genuinely one of the most interesting things i think we've had happen in quite some time and it's it's going to be polarizing for a lot of people so we'll see how it goes but that's that's the big thing coming out of AEW dynamite aside from the kenny omega return um, and I just wanted to talk about it before the show rather than, you know, going through Dynamite and then talking about it at the end. I feel like a lot of people probably just want to hear about the CM Punk situation uh, and, and people's thoughts on it. And, and yeah, I don't know. I Like, this time next week, CM Punk could not be with AEW. He could be the top heel in the company. MJF could be back. Uh, Moxley could be world champion. Hangman could be involved. There, there's so many moving factors here that, like, I... I I'm not a wrestling insider, I don't know, but it it, it has me captivated. It, like I, I'm glued in after an electric episode of Dynamite yesterday. We have what looks to be one of the most interesting episodes of the entire show uh, in their three-year history next week. So uh, we'll see how that goes. 